I like your hat. Thanks. Do you know this guy? <laughs> yeah, I know this something guy? about him, yeah. <laughs> Amigos, ¿cómo están? Bienvenidos. Tenemos el Close Up a Uncharted. Sí, una película que ustedes han estado esperando durante muchísimo tiempo, por lo menos los que son fans del videojuego. Sabían que han habido muchos intentos por llevarla a la pantalla grande, pero por fin lo logramos. Y nada menos y nada más que con los protagonistas Tom Holland y Mark Wahlberg. Sí, ellos son los actores que lideran a esta aventura que planea, yo supongo, que convertirse en una saga. Cada uno de los participantes en esta película tendrá un objetivo diferente de entrada Tom Holland eh, teniendo esa, esa carga de ser Spider-Man y de ser tan exitoso pues ahora tendrá que construir un nuevo personaje y convencernos de no ver a Peter Parker sino ver al protagonista de Uncharted en esta aventura Mi familia ha estado buscando por esta parte por un muy largo tiempo tanto sangre Estoy muy emocionado por el movie porque hemos eh, estado esperando esta adaptación a la pantalla grande por un largo tiempo ¿Cómo crees que los fans van a tomar esto? Creo que They're gonna love if they're a fan of the games, you know. I think they'll love it. It's of course very nerve wracking, but in the best of ways. I'm really excited for those who are fans of the games um, to see this. Um, I think that it really holds up to the integrity of the games, um, the characters that that you you know get to meet, re, be reintroduced to in the real world. Gives a, a different approach, um, I think, to the fans of like you know of of Sully and Nate's first meeting and. A part of Nate's life that you don't get to really see in the games. I'm excited to see how how people take it. Pretty sure he just threatened to kill me. You're doing great, kid. Hang in there. How do you feel with this with this part of your life that uh, the, all the spotlights are on you and you have success and and you you have this um, th this feeling about about uh, the people that loving you uh, loving your work. How do you feel in this uh, part of your life? Uh, I mean, it's pretty crazy it's a lot to take in and it's also very daunting you know when the spotlight is on you there are lots of people that are waiting for you to slip up and make a mistake so you know I'm just trying to take it slow and uh, you know I'm sticking with my family and my friends um, to just make sure that I you know stay true to myself and don't get too caught up in the the whirlwind that is Hollywood you are a collector well I dabble I'm dabble I'd like to know if you were familiar with Uncharted before getting involved in the project. Yeah, I mean, I've been involved with Uncharted since uh, about 2010. When David O'Russell and I had done the fighter together, we then decided that we were going to adapt Uncharted for the big screen. And I stayed on board for over 10 years. And when they called me and they said they were finally ready to make the movie, I was excited. And then I realized pretty quickly that they didn't want me to be Nathan anymore. They wanted me to be Sully, which was a bit of a change, but I welcomed it with open arms. And I thought it would be more realistic for me to be Sully than Nathan Drake while I'm 50 years old. Oh my God. I shouldn't have come out to play with a big boy's wing because you're about to get a proper Scottish welcome. Uh, how much uh, it's uh, fiction, how much is original, and how much is based on the video game? Well, it is an origin story, you know, so it's not really based on the video game story-wise in that way. Um, it's like the prequel to it. But I would say that like as far as like the, the events that happen, it sort of mimics like the fourth game. In a, in a, like the events and how they like transpire, you know, it seems like similar to the way that the fourth game goes. Can you tell me more about your character, please? Braddock is a treasure hunter. Um, she has a sort of weird history and past with Sully that um, isn't, you never really know what that is, but it definitely informs their relationship throughout the film. And Braddock is this high class chick who is basically a psychopath um, that she will stop at nothing to get what she feels like is hers or should be hers. Um, and that's the goal. So she's ruthless, um, she's relentless, um, she's very powerful, she's just a badass. You're here because you're your brother. Well, you know my brother, Sam. Yeah, and I think you are looking for the next challenge, you know, like, uh, the next step, like, like this uh, movie on chart could be a saga. Nobody knows, but it could be. So you are looking for that, uh, another universe? Yeah, I think you're spot on. I mean, I'm always looking for new challenges. Uh, you know, one of the luxuries of being an actor is 
There's no two jobs the same. Uh, Uncharted is a game series that, you know, I loved growing up playing. It also sold 40 million copies worldwide of this game, so it has a massive fan base. So for me to deliver um, some fan service is, is a huge honor. And I'm just really excited for the world to see it. No idea who you partnered with. I've been dreaming about this stuff since I was a kid. Did you play the games? Yeah, I had played the game when it first came out and thought it was so fun and captured the spirit of one of my favorite movies, which is Raiders of the Lost Ark. Uh, and so it, it just was something that was kind of unlike any other game I played. It felt like we, I was in a movie when I played the game. But then I didn't play the subsequent uh, versions of it, uh, just that first one. But when I got the job to direct the movie, then I went back and played all the games. Both of you turned your keys clockwise at the same time. Ah! Thanks a lot. You almost got me killed. I didn't really play the games. I was a big video game kid when I was younger, especially arcade games and stuff like that. But by the time uh, Uncharted came around and the height of its popularity, I was already a parent and then became a husband. So between my golf habit, my work stuff, and fitness and everything else, if I then spent another five, six, seven hours playing video games, I, I, would, uh, I would not be able to keep my wife happy. She would be very upset with me. So, but I did, I did, I was very familiar with Uncharted and what I loved about it most was how cinematic it was. You know, it really felt like a movie anyway. So I thought, uh, what better movie, I mean, video game to turn into a movie. We could honor the, all the fans of the video game, but also introduce a whole new audience who may necessarily have not played the game. Kid, slow down. It's a vintage Rioja. Savor it. Or chug it down like you're on spring break. All good. Hey, even uh, from the beginning, from the first one of the series, it has been very cinematic. So how to translate that into a movie? Well, it's it's easier to translate a video game that lends itself to being cinematic, I think, to one that doesn't because they laid so much of the groundwork for us. The visuals, the action sequences, the great buddy relationship between Nate and Sully, those two great characters, the sense of humor. Uh, so much of it was there, but we made sure that we wanted to tell an original story for this film and not just recreate the game. We wanted it to be a different chapter in the Nathan Drake story. Clockwise, Sully! Well, it was 50-50, so I made a guess. Clearly. Voyage was not just about gold. And how about uh, your your participation? Because uh, we know that this this has a, a lot of action, but I don't know how how much action do you have in in, in the in the in the movie? Not enough. Not enough. Why? <laughs> I'm getting. I'm getting. I mean, I I like when I was filming it, I was like, this is so much. Then when I was watching it, I was like, I wish there was more because it looks so good. There are places out there you can't find on any map. They're not gone. I, I think you have to train for this this role. How was the process? Did you uh, did you train uh, any specific way to move, or how how does that work? I had a, about three four months of physical training with a with a trainer just to build sort of muscle mass and get physically prepared for the amount of stunts that we were going to have to do. Um, as far as the stunts themselves and the fights and things, I actually I have a um, a history in martial arts. I'm a black belt. Um, I did karate for 12 years. Uh, and so in that way, that that part of it sort of came easier to me, like learning the movement, learning um, of which way to go, even when getting the karambit, um, which is from another style of martial art, but that has most martial arts have very similar movement patterns. Um, so it was mm -hmm. something that was smooth to transition to. Yeah, and just a lot of a lot of time, a lot of sweat. <laughs> find that goal, you find him too. As Sully, your uh, Nathan's mentor, and where did you took references for that? For example, me kind of being a bit of a mentor to Tom and having that kind of big brother, little brother relationship. But it's also something where, because where this movie starts out, they have to earn each other's respect, earn each other's trust, and then become a team. So that was pretty easy for us to kind of put ourselves in that position and create that dynamic. And you know, I am now the kind of older guy giving the young guy advice. And so it, it was, it was uh, pretty seamless. It came together quite nicely. And again, they did a great job of what was on the script. And then everything else that we improvised and tried really heightened heightened the material, so. Is the story of the film canon in the Uncharted universe? Our movie is kind of a fresh 
uh, take on his origin. In the games, they they have flashback scenes that show when Nate and Sully first meet, as well as Nate's childhood. And so we we reference both of those, but no, we created all new material for our movie. Don't get caught. You were just gonna leave me back there. Somebody had to get the cross. B visually, we know that it's gonna be a spectacular, but, but you as an actress, uh, to be in that kind of scenes, can you tell me more about uh, any experience that you that you had in the movie uh, that, that put you in, I don't know, in danger, but in, in rush in your heart, you know? Oh, so many things. Um, anything on the wire, you know, like when we were flying through the sky, and I got up on the plane, we've shot that, or not on the plane, on the car, and landed on the crate. That's not like, I mean, a lot of it's special effects, but some of it, you know, we actually filmed on wires, and like I got out of the car, and they had a massive fan blowing, and we were like, you know, really high up in the air. I don't really know how many feet, but a lot. And then, you know, I really jumped off and glided. You know, I felt like I was ziplining. I had a lot of fun. Good. A little young for a bartender, aren't you? A little old for prom, aren't you? How was Naughty Dog or the studio that made the game involved in the creative process? They had input in the movie or did they let you go wild creatively? It was a little bit of both. Uh, Naughty Dog was involved with the film from the very beginning. And they were a great partner because they were able to help guide us and make sure that um, we were true to the spirit of the game. At the same time, they allowed us the opportunity to just make it our own and have creative freedom to create something totally new. Your brother believed that there was a final piece. Well, you know what my brother said? We know that uh, Tom Holland liked to make his own stunts, so I don't know if you participate in that stunt, so, or you have a, 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 a double, or, or you you want to be part of it. Oh no, I definitely, like, I did all of my stunts through this film myself. Um, I did have, yeah, <laughs> um, and I feel really proud of myself for it. Um, I had two stunt doubles, um, but they only, only stepped in on two pieces of two different stunts that were just liability reasons they wouldn't allow. I really wanted to still do it, but they were like, Tati, no, it's not safe. I'm like, all right, fine. Um, but yeah, no, I uh, did it on my own. Who the hell is this? I'm a friend of Sully's. Sully doesn't have any friends. I should know I'm one of them. We know that you uh, like to make your own stunts and you have uh, you have been in movies with super powers, but now you are a regular guy with no superpowers, but you have to make these crazy scenes. So uh, is, is that challenge to you in this movie in particular? Yeah, I mean, it's definitely a challenge. With, with Spider-Man, uh, it's a different way of thinking about action. In Spider-Man, you are thinking about doing a practical stunt, stunt that can accent and, and be the jump off point to a digital takeover, whereas Uncharted, you don't have that luxury. So you have to think about the beginning of the stunt and the end of the stunt, you know, because it all has to be practical. We don't have that supernatural aspect where Nathan can jump 80 feet in the air and stick to a wall. So it's a very, very different sort of art form. Um, you know, my two stunt doubles, Greg and Luke, are incredible at designing action and designing different types of physicality. So I was really, really chuffed with what we created with Nathan Drake. I sat down with my brother last night we all watched the film, my entire family and I, and my brother sort of leaned over and said, you've done a really good job of creating a different character. You know, Nathan Drake and Peter Parker are a world apart, while obviously having some similarities. The biggest difference is their physicality. My brother Sam left one final clue. One of the latest videos you talk about the FOMO, the fear of missing out. Could you tell us more about it and if you actually experience it? Um, well, yeah, I feel like I miss out on a lot of things because I, I'm so committed to my work and, you know, I have my routine and everything else. But at the same time, I really wouldn't change it because it's because of my work ethic and everything else. The only thing is the sacrifice between family because, you know, being off on location for months at a time, you know, it's really difficult to make that sacrifice and be away from your family. You don't get that time back. But I'm also trying to teach and still work ethic and you know uh, make sure that my kids have goals and ambition themselves and so it's just a balance it's just trying to find that balance hey brother we found your new scent uh, uh. now get rid of her it was harder to make it right physically talking physically right i mean there are elements of it that are harder but then there are elements of spider-man that are definitely definitely harder 
you know, in Spider-Man I'm playing someone who can do things that humans can't do, and I am very much just a regular old human. So doing some of the things we have to do for Spider-Man is pretty brutal, but Nathan Drake playing this character, it was the constant workload, the constant sort of struggle to make these action sequences as impressive as they are, uh, that made it really difficult to pull this off. If you could direct any other movie based on a video game, uh, which one would you like? I'm working on an adaptation of Jack and Daxter, which I'm very excited about and I think will make for an incredible film. Another movie I, that I was actually involved with once as a director was uh, Spy Hunter, uh, the kind of classic uh, game, just because I think it would be so cool to tell the story of a spy that's so badass that he hunts down other spies. No idea who you partnered with. Aren't you telling me? The victor spoils. This case for the exotic locations, where did you film? We shot this movie. Uh, it takes place in New York mm -hmm. and in Barcelona and in the South Pacific, somewhere near the Philippines. But we actually shot the movie in Berlin and we shot it in the south of Spain uh, in a place called Denia and we shot uh, in Barcelona. How are they going to get them out of here? Thank you very much and uh, I wish you luck, Tom. Thank you. Thank you, mate. I appreciate it. Thanks very much. ¿Cómo la ven, muchachos? Ustedes díganme, si ya vieron la película, díganme su opinión. Y si no, ¿qué es lo que esperan acerca de esta movie? Ahí está la fecha de estreno. Si los convenció, no se la pierdan. Yo soy Alex Montiel. Suscríbanse. Eso sí lo tienen que hacer, sí o sí. Y seguirme en todas las redes sociales. Nos vemos en el cine. Bye.